Namaste, good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, everyone. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko namaste. Good morning. Welcome. Let us start our sharing for today. Yes, Didi. Today we have two sharings. One by uh, Praveen Kataria Ji and another by uh, Sadesh Kumar Sahoji. We start with uh, Praveen Ji's sharing. Namaste, Praveen Kataria Ji. Am I audible to you? डायरेक्टर जनरल ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेज नियर चंडीगढ़ पंजाब शी एटेंडेड हर इंट्रोडक्टरी वर्कशॉप इन डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड अगेन इन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री USB refresher one in April 2022, uh, part one of USB two FDP that is refresher one part two in May 2022, and she attended again May, USB two FDP in November 2023. She also organized a three-day face-to-face uh, self-funded FDP in her institution in January 2024. She attended some morning sessions from uh, January 2024, and she is. Uh, Emits her uh, busy schedule, ready to volunteer for any online offline activities. So, with this brief introduction, I welcome Parveen Kataria Didi for her sharing in the morning session. Over to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Bhaiya. Good morning to all people present here. Uh, I would like to give my brief introduction. I am an academician and co-founder of Arun's Group of Colleges near Chandigarh. with punjab with two and a half decades of experience presently i am managing the operations of eight colleges of arun's group which include engineering management law pharmacy education and nursing academically i am an mba a gratified gold medalist of mcom and phd from punjab university chandigarh i am also qualified education counselor for canada australia and europe in that capacity i am also managing the oversee education wing of arun's group from last 10 years i am also working on my physical and mental health therefore i have gone through various courses on basics of natural health science air power hydrotherapy ether cure Vedic nutrition and culinary science, and solar therapy from International Hindu University, Florida, USA, under the mentorship of Dr. Arun Sharma, who is a grandson of Acharya Lakshman Sharma, known as Father of Nature Cure in India. I have also gone through course in Nature Cure and Yoga from Gandhi Smarak Prakritik Chikitsa Smriti, New Delhi. My journey with AICT's endeavor of UHPs started in December two thousand twenty-one by attending FDP on inculcating UHPs in technical education. Same FDP I have attended again in November twenty-three to deepen my understanding in right context. I have attended part one of UHP refresher one FDP in April twenty twenty-two. part 1 of uhb fdp in may 22 uhb 2 fdp in november 23 this year in january we have organized three days face to face self funded fdp or uhbs in rn college of engineering i acted as a local program coordinator total 89 participants participated in that total 66 candidates were given certificates of successful completion and out of that 62 participants were from rn's group of colleges i have started attending morning sessions from january and 2024 although my journey of self exploration started around 10 years back but being a person of management i know nothing about mental health and was partially knowing about physical health after reaching at a certain stage of success of almost 15 years of career 
I started feeling that my inner self was longing for something else. Something was missing inside. Although I was happy and contented with my family, my husband, he's my best friend. He is president of Punjab Unaided Colleges Association. He is also president of Federation of Self-Financing Technical Institutions All India. My two kids are adorable and are a blessing for me and my family. But I, although I had a very good see on both sides of my family, my parental family and my in-laws family, as well as in the professional and social front, but then too, something was really, uh, something inside was really longing for something more than this. So I started exploring on different fronts, but was not able to do it completely. As for me, by that time, there was no difference in the body and the self. I was trying to get information in peace meals from here and there and was trying to put that all information in one chain. I was getting confused and was not able to put the entire acquired knowledge and information in proper order. Then came the virtue of universal human values in my life. Before attending universal human values workshops, whenever there was a mail from AICT or university about a UHB workshop, I used to think, that I know everything about human values. So I never thought of attending any workshop for myself. Only sent my staff members to attend the same, but none of them ever got the completion certificate and I was not aware about the same by that time. But perhaps my inner self was longing or kehte hain ke jab hum shiddat se kuch karna chahte hain, तो सारी कायनात हमारी हेल्प करने में लग जाती है और रास्ता हमारे लिए अपने आप बनता जाता है द सेम यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन वैल्यूज वर्कशॉप डिड फॉर मी एज आई स्टार्टेड एक्सप्लोरिंग द कंटेंट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल ह्यूमन वैल्यूज ऑल आई एम ऑल माय इंफॉर्मेशन व्हिच आई गैदर्ड इन लास्ट 10 इयर्स एंड दैट वाज इन डिफरेंट पीसेस स्टार्टेड कमिंग ऑटोमेटिकली इन अ चेन इट वाज लाइक मैग्नेट पीसेस everything started falling in place one after other. The biggest conflict in me was, before attending these workshops, the biggest conflict in me that was resolved by knowing that self and body are in coexistence, yet distinct from each other. I came to realize that something was, a, was the self and that want was the want of continuous satisfaction and happiness. The content which I explored in last few years before joining the UHP workshop through Vipassana and other meditative techniques, through yoga and various health courses, made its way in a structured format and made sense to me. I became more confident to express myself and about the natural acceptance of all. I'm developing my understanding and trying to purify the accumulated feelings and thoughts in me. The content of universal human values have made me explore that the need of the self is uninterrupted and continuous happiness. I'm able to see that my recognizing and fulfilling is on the basis of knowing, then my conduct is definite. Before this, I never thought of differentiating between reaction and response. I used to wonder why my body started trembling or breath going breathless or heartbeat going very fast whenever I was disturbed or angry. But now I'm able to see that that was my reaction on different situations. Now with these morning sessions, I'm able to see the result of response in place of reaction. I'm trying to be aware all the day in every situation I'm able to see within myself where I am right and wrong and with whom I am partial. With the content, I'm able to realize that we all have the same intentions of being happy and making others happy, although we may be different on competency level. With this, I'm able to see and think from another person's angle. Whenever some conflict arises with the other person, 
I try to remind myself about the intention and the ability part of the other person. I have realized over a period of time that generally I do not think about anything whenever I am happy. But when I am in grief or sad over something, then only I pay attention to why of this. So I try to contemplate whether this moment is naturally acceptable to me or not. With the awareness, I make effort to switch over to harmony. Now, I make effort to accept that it is myself who has come to this moment and only myself can go to harmonious state from this situation. I have started taking the responsibility of myself being in harmony or, or in opposition. I have started feeling that the feeling of relationship being in harmony within and outside and coexisting with the nature and existence is naturally acceptable to me. I am also able to see that I am internally at ease and peace when I able to ensure the well-being of myself and body and environment around me. I am also able to observe that I wish to ensure the state of harmony and happiness in continuity. Though morning sessions only I am able to contemplate more precisely that interaction between the self and body is in the form of information, which is either instruction or sensation. I am also able to see that my body is there as well as myself is there and both are distinct. Earlier, I was scared of physical pain since my childhood, like injection or some other pain. So whenever there used to be any pain in one part of the body, say headache, I used to make it a suffering for the whole body. But now, while exploring the content, I am able to differentiate the self and the body at the first level and then each part of the body separately. I am reminding myself that if there is some pain in one body part and it is only in that pain and rest of the body is at at a, at a very comfortable position, the pain is not in the whole body. I try to remind my body by paying attention to that part and other parts consciously. This is helping me a lot in overcoming from suffering. I'm able to explore that this is only sensation of pain happening in just one body part or organ and my other body parts are distinct from other. As well as myself is different. My suffering or pain is on the basis of my knowing. It is only in the physical body and not on, in the self. I am able to see all this. I am also able to observe that the power of self is limitless. With closed eyes, uh, I am on exercise to observing the self and the body. And uh, I am also able to observe that the power of self is limitless. With closed eyes, we can reach any part of the world can see any known person or place, can go in past memories or visualize future or unknown event and places. I am able to observe that I am the seer or the observer, doer and the enjoyer of everything. I am the one who decides to see and observe by using the body as an instrument. I am able to see this to, to uh, uh, extent and whenever I am aware and whenever I pay attention to it during the day. I give instruction to the body to do or not to do any action and only I experience the pleasure and pain. Uh, at this moment, along with uh, these workshops, I am also reading the book on holistic human health, its philosophy and practice written by Sharmila Sthana Didi, Aklesh Shukla Bhaiyaji and T. Perumal Bhaiyaji. This book is really helping me a lot in understanding and exploring on both mental and physical health. And uh, as far as my commitment for uh, after attending these workshops uh, are, first of all, my commitment is with my own self. I want to explore more on this. I want to ensure that each at that at each moment I am aware and in perfect harmony within and outside. On the second level, I feel committed. For my children, both my son and daughter are at such a stage of their life at this moment that they need my support. 
so i want to inc- and i along with this that i want to inculcate the human values in my children so that they are able to explore within themselves from now onwards and in the coming time they become a better human beings and uh, i am also ready to explore the content with all my staff members as well as my students i want to co explore with them about harmony within and outside and coexistence with the nature and existence i also feel my commitment to serve the society in any way possible i am ready to give my services as volunteer to aict in all kind of online workshops face to face workshops i am also re- ready to spare time for going for offline workshops in and around chandigarh i am comfortable in going for, uh, in a radius of 50 to 100 kilometers from chandigarh at my own expense i also want to offer my services for physical health as and when required in any programs of aict last i feel really i am really feeling gratefulness for the pioneer team who has contemplated and explored on this beautiful content and structured this content in such a wonderful way i am feeling really indebted to the team of aict and uhb for making this content available to us with continuous efforts through various workshops fdps morning sessions and weekly meetings i am really thankful to all the speakers on these various platforms for helping us explore the content and listening to us with such patience in particularly i am really thankful to aprachita didi to sharmila didi tara prasanna bhaiya prikshit bhaiya priya darshini didi kumar bhaiya vinay bhaiya jishwant bhaiya pande bhaiya jagdish bhaiya sunil bhaiya kumar bhaiya charanjit madan bhaiya jatendra narula bhaiya munshi yadav bhaiya garima didi and manisha didi i have listened to these people and got a chance to meet few of these people uh, during my face to face workshop i am really indebted to all these people in my life for uh, 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 giving me such a wonderful opportunity to explore the content i am also thankful to all my co fellow uh, my fellow co explorers my family especially my husband for always encouraging me and giving me this unconditional support uh, thanks to the almighty and universe for the blessings of life and all life essentials thank you so much jai hind jai bharat thank you so much bhaiya thank you so much didi for this uh, very nice sharing though you attended the first time this morning session you have been uh, able to see it uh, so much and you have attended many workshops also and you have been uh, helping your colleagues and the staff members in your institution to uh, see through their uh, pers- personal and personal conflicts it's also like i mentioned in between thank you so much didi for your uh, Uh, sharing and there is a very crisp as well as uh, very very short sharing but very useful for all of us we have a couple more of hands raised i request uh, shamla didi to give her comments and remarks regarding parvin didi sharing shamla didi over to you ji namaste parvin ji namaste didi nice, nice to hear your sharing today uh, you have i guess been listening silently in this past session we didn't hear you in terms of questions but this is why uh, sharing is so wonderful to listen to uh, because we come to know each other somewhat uh, get to you know find out about each other a little bit more and uh, a very impressive background with lot of uh, you know academic accolades and all of that and uh, you mentioned and uh, like you rightly said at some point in life we all start feeling some void within and uh, so that makes us search for some more answers something beyond what we already have been able to see so you also described that uh, you know you have a very supportive and wonderful family and uh, i just wanted to uh, say that now that you are able to see the benefits of this uhb and uh, the holistic health then all of that uh, that Uh, you know you are involved in now perhaps um, 
uh, further on, you can have involvement of the family members also because then the whole house is, you know, the whole family together is working on this. It changes the entire environment. And for the growing children, it can be a wonderful tool to help them, you know, um, uh, go through life. So that was something I was considering. And uh, also I was thinking that, of course, you have been through the workshops, but uh, some little more clarity may be required and a uh, little more self-exploration. Of course, it's very early days. You have just been through the exercises only this batch. And that too, I think you mentioned end of January. So perhaps, um, you know, not, uh, you know, that much from right from the beginning. So my suggestion would be that even for the next batch, if you can do this and perhaps involve your husband at least in that so that you both can listen and both can help each other with the exploration. Um, and go through the more subtle steps, you know, one by one. Uh, start with that. And of course, um, you know, we will also be in touch regarding your, um, uh, what you have mentioned that you are open to participation um, and helping in this process. So all the best to you for all these further endeavors and uh, your exploration to continue like this best wishes thank you thank you didi thank you so much uh, yes when in the morning i am attending session my generally my husband he is also with me he listens to mm -hmm. uh, these sessions and he also enjoy those sessions mm -hmm. and later on we uh, sometime we discuss also and uh, and uh, as and uh, my uh, I generally uh, I join at five thirty or sometime at six o'clock and uh, and I try to attend the Hindi session completely. So mm -hmm. many time I ask my doubts in the Hindi session as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much, Didi. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you, Didi. Uh, thank you so much, Shamla Didi, for those comments. Thank you uh, so much, Parvin Didi, for your. Uh, excellent for sharing. Uh, 